I went online to find the logbook for myself to see what was available. And quite honestly, I found them lacking. Um, I mean, they had the basic information, distance, time, location. But I can make that in a Word document for myself. So I decided to create a logbook that offered much more. Uh, more information on walking, uh, more information on health, fitness, wellness, mindset, inspiration, happiness, and motivation. I wanted all of that included in this book. Now, the backstory to this, I'm a high school teacher, and I'm trying to convince my students that they can write a 20-page book on how to solve someone's problem. Uh, for instance, I had a girl who uh, has con wears contacts. So what she does, what's her routine for waking up in the morning and taking care of her contacts, getting her in her eyes. So books like that, general information, 20 pages, how to. And I thought, well, I've got this idea for a walking book. I'm looking for a log. Let's put it all together. So I created the book that I was looking for. Now within the book is the walking log, but on the facing page is the weekly insight for my readers to think about while they're out on their walks. Uh, there's space for my readers to write down their thoughts, space for their words of wisdom, where they can put quotes that mean something to them. Um, whether it's a motivational quote, spiritual quote, there's space for them to add that. And the book, just to give you an example of an insight, opens with the what's my why. Okay, what's your why for uh, doing whatever you're doing? In this case, what's your why for getting fit, for being out there walking? Uh, there are four questions that I have someone answer. What happens if they don't walk? What gives you pep in your step? Uh, what are your strengths and what fires up your passion? So these are the big ideas that they can think about in that week's walk. If you know why you want to do something, then the job is halfway done. Uh, then in week two, I give three very powerful health tips that will immediately improve your life. So these are the type of weekly insights that you'll see in this book. I continue week by week to um, give you the information that I think about when I'm out there walking. Well, one of the best and least expensive wellness tools is a journal. Journaling helps you recognize and spotlight invaluable insights in your life. Studies show that journaling is a powerful way to boost your mental health, uh, reduce depression and anxiety. It makes us happier and more content with our lives. Well, I felt it was important to start the book with the section on how to use the book um, and how to get the most out of your walking time. Then comes the 52 weekly insights and the uh, adjoining uh, walking charts for that week. Then uh, beyond that is the extra information that I've put in the book. Um, why log and journal your walking experience? There's a chapter on that. How to start a walking program. If you're not a walker right now, this will help you develop a routine. Uh, how to do a 10-minute walking time test and why that's important, safety tips, the benefits of walking, things to do while walking, uh, to develop um, developing your walking creativity routine, which is really um, a huge part of why I like the walking and what it does for my mindset and the ideas I come up with, such as showing to my students that you can do this. Uh, why you should track your vital signs, and then the vital sign tracking chart is also included. Well, I wanted to touch on the physical and the emotional benefits a reader might be looking for in a walking book. Um, I think this book will appeal to the seasoned walker and the person just starting out. I use the word journey because it's an act of traveling from one place to another. When you start to walk, you're going from one place to another. But in the bigger picture, I use the word journey because walking helped me emotionally and physically move from a place of pain and darkness to a new place of great health, a bright outlook on my life and my future. Now, the physical act of walking and the time it gives you to get into your deepest thoughts is a journey. Um, if you use your walking time wisely, then it's the greatest journey you'll ever embark on. Now, by doing the 10-minute time test, you're tracking your walking speed, and then you'll be aware of any hidden health problems if you start it, suddenly start to slow down your pace. Um, if you feel good, yet you've slowed down, there might be an underlying issue that you want to have checked out. 
Uh, the quicker you resolve the issue, well, then the less time consuming it is to heal and the less expensive the treatment. And I do this every two weeks just to keep track of, you know, how fast or how far I walk in those 10 minutes. Well, you should track your vital signs for the same reason you track your walking speed. A change in vital signs, that's heart rate, weight, breathing rate, temperature, and blood pressure, they're the same vital signs that your healthcare provider uh, does and checks when you go for a physical. If you see your numbers are changing, especially if the change is dramatic, then the quicker you seek medical treatment, the quicker you'll heal, the less expensive it'll be. Um, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yes, there is a lot of bonus content, um, and I felt uh, I always like to give my readers more than what they paid for. So I've included an exclusive web page to go to to download all this information. Plus, there's other bonus information up there that I update periodically throughout the year. There's my free ins uh, Walking Inspiration audiobook. That's my last book, Walking Inspiration. So this includes... Um, purchase of this book includes that audio book for you to listen to on your walks. Um, there's inspirational walking quotes and there's every month has a featured topic dealing with health, wellness, and um, personal development, goal setting, what's your why, things like that. So check that out. There is a free inspirational quote download. There is also the vital signs chart if you need a, a, to check your vital signs more often, print out the chart. There is my digital magazine or my newsletter, call it uh, Walking Inspiration, comes out quarterly with the change of the season. And there's my get out the door checklist, uh, which is brand new for the coming year. Well, I've included so much free content because I feel so strongly that by walking, you will improve your health, fitness, mindset, and ultimately your longevity. The more information I give to my readers, especially if they could listen to it while they're walking, then the better off they will be. The Walking Logbook Journal is the fourth book I have on the subject of walking. My first book, Walking for Health and Fitness, really gave a broad view of um, walking. And it answers a lot of questions. That first book, um, really a good overview of how to use walking to improve your life. My second book, Fitness Walking and Body Weight Exercises, is incorporating body weight exercises while you're out walking. Push-ups, squats, lunges, planks. Um, and why doing that is one, it's um, so much better for your health in the sense of uh, less chance of injury. Um, I was hurt so many times lifting weights through the years that by doing these and, and keeping my core stronger, um, I've been able to stay uh, back pain-free and uh, much healthier. And my third book, Walking Inspiration, which you'll get the audio book from uh, for, um, is a uh, 365 quotes plus the monthly topic to, that the quotes relate to. So uh, it's a great um, trio of books I've put together and I'm so proud of this fourth book. Well, great quotes show you that you're not alone. Inspirational quotes remind us that the thoughts we have are common experiences felt throughout the ages. Um, in the Walking Logbook Journal, I have a place for my readers to write out their go-to quotes. Um, either quotes that they come up with or things that touch them that they want to remind themselves of. Now, my current personal favorite inspirational quote, I have it up in my classroom and in my office, is by Brian Tracy, and it reads, never consider the possibility of failure. As long as you persist, you will be successful. Um, and I would say to my audience, if you persist with walking as often as you can, you'll succeed in creating better health and wellness in your life. Well, the phrase idea catcher came to me during the writing of this book or the really the the brainstorming of this book. I was out on a walk and I was looking through my notes app for something I had dictated into it on a previous walk. And as I searched uh, for my idea, I took a good look at the number of notes I had in my notes app that contained my random thoughts and ideas. And there were just so many of them. When I walk, many ideas just seem to come about or really just take root formulate and uh, they're just floating in my head, I guess. I don't know. Tom Petty, the famous uh, songwriter, talked about 
the ideas or his songs were just out there and he would pluck them out of the thin air and he didn't want to overthink the process. Um, so we know what a dream catcher does, right? It's supposed to catch your dreams. I thought, wouldn't a phrase idea catcher be great for part of this book? So uh, take out your notes app and uh, dictate into it. And see what happens on your next walk. Well, offering the free audiobook is a way to combine walking and really mindset. Uh, reading is great. We all know that, but sometimes you don't have enough time to read. So why not listen to the audiobook while you're walking? Uh, the audiobook of Walking Inspiration is for your convenience and to motivate my audience. Uh, I listen to some type of audio every time I walk. I've listened to dozens of audiobooks a year that I just wouldn't have the time to sit down and read. Audiobooks and walking are the ultimate win-win. Uh, I've been able to absorb so much information and entertainment while staying in shape. Uh, also, walking and learning go hand in hand. Studies have shown that exercise increases the size of the hippocampus, which is involved in the formulation of new memories and associated with learning and emotion. The brain literally grows every time you walk. Good reason to walk. And keep in mind that the audiobook is only available through the Walking Logbook Journal resource page. So pick up the book, find the website uh, address, and get your audiobook. Well, in the chapter, Develop Your Walking Creativity Routine, I write about the transformation one goes through when they make walking a major part of their physical fitness routine. Now, the first transformation is physical as you begin to feel good. Um, walking and exercise go hand in hand. It will begin slowly at first and then rather quickly your body begins to feel good. It's the only way I can describe it, but you feel that your muscles are being used. You won't feel sore. And it's a good feeling to have after a, a nice long walk, especially if you're built up to be able to walk a half hour, then an hour, an hour and a half of just, you know, to the coffee shop, which I do try to do once, uh, once a week, you know, an hour there, sit for a while, have a cup of coffee, come back. So um, that's the first transformational process. And then you'll read about walking speed as a vital part of your uh, walking journey. Now, the second transformational part is your mindset. You begin to think more clearly. You'll be calmer. Your creativity and problem-solving skills will just kick into overdrive. I find that happens to me all the time. Now, I've had breakthrough ideas on my walks that would have never occurred to me if I was sitting at a desk. In fact, many times I've come back from a walk, sat down to do some work, and thought, what was that, what was that idea I had while walking? And I've got to go into my notes app just to remember it. So for me, the idea of sitting down is to do the uh, work or to do the physical work of what I thought of while I was out walking. That's how it works. That's how the process works for me. Now, Steve Jobs, Charles Dickens, Beethoven, and many others creative types relied on walking to enhance their imaginations. In fact, Steve Jobs' walking meetings became part of his workday. And hey, if it worked for Steve Jobs, why wouldn't it work for the rest of us? And the Walking Logbook Journal is now available at Amazon.com. Uh, click the links on this page or just type Frank S. Ring into the Amazon Books search bar. Uh, yeah, what you can do is go to the Look Inside feature of Amazon, uh, of my book on Amazon. Um, to get a really good look at to get a look at what the book looks like, you'll see the how to use this book. You'll see the first four or three weekly insights and what the log chart looks like to give you an idea of if this is the book for you, which I believe it is. So if you're not getting the results you want in your life, then there's something missing. There's something you haven't learned yet. Okay, so let my walking logbook journal and idea catcher, I'll throw that out there, fill in your health fitness, wellness, knowledge, and inspiration gap. This is Frank for Walking for Health and Fitness. Walk on. Hey, this is Frank again for Walking for Health and Fitness. Check out the other videos that I have playing all around me here. Uh, again, I've got some great content to get you on your way to better health and fitness through walking.